This is Sharon Hall, 5030, and I kind of got in the mood to do some altering. I had my, to begin with, my daughter, my youngest, brought me a greeting card box full of buttons yesterday that she got at some sale or something. She didn't say. And I'm always glad to get buttons. You can never have too many buttons. So I let them sit on my desk till today. Well, then today I thought, I don't want to just dump them in my big jar. And there's my big jar. So I thought, I'm going to sort these. And the way I sorted them was these are ones that would work nice for flower backs. They're shank buttons and they're decorative and they're in a little pint canning jar. The lid, I put some little lace and rickrack around. And then I just took some of the shank buttons and I hot glued them to the top. So I'll know those are shank buttons. All my white and clear are in this canning jar. And this beautiful doily is from my little sweet peas. I've been hoarding it, and I thought, you know what? It just fits this jar. It's like she made it just for this jar. So thank you, Letty. I am so thrilled that I can finally take it out of the hoard fold and use it. And those are my white and clear buttons. And then this big jar is what I put the rest. Just things that here, there, and it's another big canning jar. And I put on the top a uh, little wooden spool, some assorted buttons, and some little flower things. This is actually a rosette trim that I had practiced when I first started spraying the glimmer mist. And I had sprayed like different colors, blue, green, and peach. So I just took the little piece and used it up my scraps and put it there. And I put a little upholster button up here in case I want to stick pins in there. And it has a big bow on the side, which I don't know if I'm keeping that or not, and then flower at the side. So these are my altered things I did today. And those are my three jars. And, of course, I still have my spice rack over here that, like, the little tiny black buttons I use, and these are tortoise shell that I use. And I also sorted out into a very small container my wood buttons which I don't have too many of those. I'll show you in a minute. It's up on my candy station, which I really haven't showed you yet, so hold tight. We're going to move. This is the beginning of my candy station. I have that little rack there and a little tin from Michael's that I just put assorted things in, and then this beautiful jar that I keep my flat back pearl trim in. And these are my, these are stick pins I use just for cleaning out my glossy accent. And there's my miss, my name. So it's the beginning of my candy station, as the girls call it. Sorry for movement. Hope you're not looking at this really nasty room online that needs cleaned. But these are my wood buttons. I think I have a whopping six of those. And then I took this little heart pen and put in just some metal buttons and little assorted uh, things that I can use for maybe steampunk or grunge, because I like to do that. So that is my kind of long video. I'm sorry I'm rambling, but those are my jars for buttons. And uh, thank you for watching, and uh, comment if you'd like, and have a blessed day.